Wow, as Maya steps into the cage, he definitely has a following here in Auckland. I'm pretty sure all the followers from Auckland MMA came down to give him a shout tonight. We have uh, Chris Eden in the blue corner and uh, ready to rumble. And in the red corner we have Maya Emery. Maya, a very seasoned vet in the cage and has fought on the, a few of the Auckland shows before, so this should be good to watch. Right, the fighters disperse back to their corners and wait for the bell. And we're on, we're on in round one and let's see where these fighters go. Maya throws a very low vicious leg kick that doesn't land. Let's see, oh brilliant. Chris seems to counter quite nicely on this. So definitely up to the task today. Both of them just feeling each other out and sizing each other up. Oh, brilliant overhand by Chris. Maya's looking for the takedown, but Chris is working really hard to avoid it. Maya pushes Chris up against the cage, and Chris definitely starts his grappling defense. Oh, brilliant punch from Chris over the top in the grapple. He's looking for that underhook, is Chris. And uh, oh, Maya just pushes him up against the cage again, just bullies him up against the cage. Oh! What a tale of fortune. Chris seems to fall right into half guard on top of Maya. Maya's looking to work his magic. He's holding onto that leg for dear life, hoping. But Maya seems very relaxed about it. Maya's just holding onto Chris, hoping that he'll help him up. At the moment, Chris is, Chris is just shifting around, pushing Maya up against the cage. Oh, he starts with a strike to the face, a good, brilliant lift to the face. Maya looks like he's going to be looking for a triangle there. But Chris, po Chris uh, pushes out of it. Maya's doing a bit of wrist control and back into guard. But he's gone for a high guard. And I think he's, Chris is riding that, fist in, uh, that, that forearm into Maya's throat at the moment. Just making it very uncomfortable for him. Let's have a look. He's going for a high, high guard. He, he will be looking for something like an armbar, I'm pretty sure about that. So, looking at it, on. Chris starts striking to the face of Maya and he lands three. Chris strikes. Chris manages to get, him out, get out of it and pulls out of it. Let's see, Maya's got a hold of that arm. He's not letting go of it. But Chris is good, Chris is good. Chris has moved in the right direction. Maya has a hold of his leg, but Chris is in a beautiful opportunity to strike. Let's see if he gets, oh, one, two. Two hammer fists to the side of the fence, to the side of the face. Let's see what he does. He's looking for the guillotine. Oh, and Maya slams him to the ground. Chris is now on his back from a brilliant opportunity of uh, being able to strike and stuff again. But Chris has, he definitely has him in, in the guard there. And Maya's just signaling that everything's okay. It's not in deep enough and it's not in tight enough. Let's see, it looks like we're going to finish out the round this way. Maya's kind of in a position where he can't actually move to get out of it. Oh, and that's the way we'll end the round. Brilliant round from both of these fighters. It did go both ways, so let, let's see what the round two has in store for us. Right, we're about to start round two. Both fighters look like they've had their prep from the, 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 the round, in between round talks. They're ready to go back at it. Both of them starting to feel it out and feel for the range, eh? Just looking very, very focused and so is Maya. 
could go either way. That round, not really sure which way to call it, because it was, it was about both ways. Mai goes in for the takedown, and Chris moves back. Mai definitely shoots in this time and gets a takedown. There we go, there we go. And Mai's still trying to complete that takedown, but Chris is working hard. Mai's got his back. Mai's definitely got his back, and it's a working hard. Mai does an ankle trip and takes, takes uh, side control. We're watching to see at the moment. Chris has that overhook on the on Meyer's right arm. Meyer tries to go to full, to mount, but gets turned in the process. Good, good position for Chris, and wonderful counter. Meyer's looking for that counter, and he's looking for that triangle or or, or that arm bar at the moment. Or oh, he could be looking for something else. He's trying to sweep him. Chris works really, really well. There we go. Throws a strike in the face. Oh, he's passing his guard. He's using that knee to knee run, and he strikes down with a vicious two strikes. He's taken mount. He's pushing him up against the cage now is Chris. He's looking to push him down and then rain down the strikes. Maya is a bit of a no man's land. He eats a punch, eats another punch, eats another punch, and another. Maya's definitely having his chin tested right here. Well, Maya's looking, Maya's looking, to, Maya's looking to sweep him from there. Let's see what happens. Chris is definitely in a stronger position there. Oh, and he's striking down on him. He moves him Chris moves him back into the cage and Myers uh, on the ground. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure Chris is thinking of a few strikes here. Myers trying to move up and he's trying to wall walk. This will happen, I think. Myers trying to look to sweep out the back. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and that was a brilliant event. Chris got the takedown. But Maya counted and turned straight away and goes straight into God. And Chris turns him straight away onto his back. Maya's going to look for that, that high guard again. But Chris is going to break him. He's looking for that armbar. But Chris seems to have counted it properly. He's going to knee ride him. Chris is busy knee riding him in the face, which is a brilliant technique to use when somebody's trying to yank your arm. It's all perfectly legal. Chris is just holding on to that armbar defense, trying not to let Mai have it. If Mai gets a sniff of it, he will yank that arm, I'm pretty sure about it. He's just patiently waiting. We've got 10 seconds left, and I'm pretty sure this is going to end. There we go. Oh, and Mai takes it back, and he rains down a punch on Chris. Mai's looking for that, that choke, but doesn't have enough time to complete it. Wow, what another round went both ways. So it'll be interesting to see what the third round has for us. Matt Todd from the Hammerhead has just given Chris a good talking to, so let's see exactly what happens in the third round as we're about to start. We have the bell, and that's a third round starting. Maya looks, Maya looks a little bit tired, but I'm pretty sure that's just to feel him out at the moment. Standing there with his hands down, that's never ever a good idea in the cage in an A-class fight. Chris is fainting for that leg kick. Oh, Maya slips that overhand. Both boys still, even in this round, feeling each other out. They haven't done much stand-up so far, so let's see where this goes. Oh, Maya goes in for the takedown, gets one hook in. Chris sees him coming and throws him to the cage. Push. Oh, Maya reverses beautifully. Pushes Chris back up against the cage. Chris is trying to protect himself from that knee and he eats one in the side of his slot. Let's see what happens from here. Maya's trying to get him to the ground. And he does, but he could take the back. Oh, but he doesn't. Chris gets up just in time. Chris is now pushing Maya up against that cage. Holding him there. He's got arm over the head, but Chris does. Maya does a fall back and sweeps him over that thing. Maya's going in, but I think he's gone too far forward. I think Chris can just sit there. Maya's just fallen straight over the top of Chris. So Chris, Chris looks like he could be, he could be safe from there. Chris is just waiting to take side control. Oh, and he starts raining down those punches. Oh, and he starts raining those punches down, does Chris. Maya's gonna look to, to wall walk from here. Chris will be smart to just hammer, put in a few, few punches. 
I have a feeling Maya my, might my, my actually look for the sweep at the back there. He's got his leg behind Chris's leg, which is a dangerous position to be in. Maya falls over. Chris is, oh, he throws in the strike. Oh, one, two. Just missing him. Maya's just managed to get those arms in the way to protect him from that punch. Maya will be looking for, oh, Chris just stands him up again. Then Chris favors his hands a bit more. Oh, now both of them are looking for a guillotine at the moment. Chris moves and they both move. Chris has got top position after that fallback from Maya to go for the guillotine. Chris definitely seems more dominant there on top. Oh, Chris takes the mound so easily. Breaks down the punches, gets his base again, and is looking for the next one. Chris riding his knee over, over Maya's thigh, and Maya's looking to sweep him. Oh, Maya's taking a couple of strikes to the head. Chris is definitely railing down those punches. Good ground and pound. Tactical ground and pound. Very calm, very composed. And look. And Maya manages to maneuver him around to get on top in the final seconds. And that is where the fight is going to end. Very good fight by both of these fighters, hey? Very, very good on Chris, considering his brother was actually scheduled to fight. He got injured and decided to take the fight on behalf of his brother last minute. So well done, Chris. He put up a solid performance tonight. The boys are now in the center. We're waiting for that decision. Chris definitely took the fight and got the majority decision. It was a good fight from him. He dominated on the top. Stopped Maya from uh, putting off the submissions and stuff like that. So well deserved win by Chris and did very well. Rachel presents him with his, his trophy for the night and congratulates him. He looks a very happy man to have had this finished. Well done to the boys from Hammerhead. It was a very, very good fight. Well executed and um, I'm pretty sure that went to plan. Well done, boys.